So we were called in about a month and a half ago about this beautiful bull mastiff that's roaming the neighborhood and obviously doesn't have a home, don't know the story, don't know if she was dumped, don't know if she wound up here, and could we help? We've been working on this dog rescue for, somebody said a month and a half, I swear it was much longer than a month and a half, and I was even late to the party, so I wasn't here from the beginning, but we've tried trapping the dog, we've tried catching the dog, approaching the dog, and, and Veronica wouldn't respond to anything. So being an experienced trapper, I. I said we have to, if we're going to enclose her in a gate, we have to make sure that that gate's secure because she might break through it and she could jump over a four foot gate. I think you said, it, I think you said it very well. No, no, you I were the just, worker of all of this. She was the worker. Her yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, it, it was a challenge sometimes. With what was your every and, night like? Every oh my night. gosh, every night. Well, I made sure I was home in time <laughs> at, Changed at, her eight, lifestyle. at eight o'clock. She's the usually up partying till three. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. <laughs> At eight o'clock every night, the cameras went out, went up, and then my alarm went off at 9.20. And at 9.20, I sprung into action. I came into the kitchen. I would feed, get her food ready. We were, you know, we gave her canned food. We gave her a half a can of tuna fish and dry food, oh, mm -hmm. mixed it all together, and I, I was had my little routine. Yeah, I, know. Uh, you I, know what I was know on I, certain I, lights at certain times and certain sequences, and I would walk outside and I'd kind of make enough noise so that she would hear me out there, and then I would reverse my my sequence and turn all the lights back off, That's and so she. I established this routine with her, and the food was out there every night at 9.30, even though sometimes she didn't show up until 3 or 4 in the morning. But uh, fortunately tonight, she was early. It was what, maybe 11.30, 11.45, something like that? But what about all the critters? Yeah, what's the Oh my god. Well, when we had the trap out there, that was not my favorite thing. I saved no I, I saved four different feral cats. Uh, I got a rac I had a raccoon in there all day Labor Day. That was fun. Uh, I had uh, and so tonight nothing worked. Heath had secured the area, so she was not going to break out. We had a plan in place. We sat with our computers, and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, she showed up, and we all sprang into action. My job was to go out into the garage and pull the rope so that the gate would close on her. And my heart was pounding, the door was cracked, the computer screen was so bright that we had in there to watch her that I had to shut that. I couldn't tell when she was coming in or out and I saw a shadow and I heard everyone else scrambling inside and my heart was just going crazy. And as she walked by, I pulled the rope as hard as I could. Well, it's just, I, well, she can't run now, so we, I think it's safe to say we got her. Way to go, team. Okay, that's enough. This was a great way. This was a great save. Everybody stayed with it. There was a bunch of different opinions. We still stayed with it, and this is the results. You just got to stay with it and, and go the course. Is that what, you know, I don't know whether that's a say it or not. Amen. But I'm, if it's not, I'm going to make it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Good girl. A month and a half without, with different ways of trapping her and saving her, we have her. And look at her. We love you, Veronica. You're safe. And, and pretty much who said you could walk up and put a lead on her? <laughs> you could put a lead on her, but you couldn't put a, you couldn't you walk up to her, her until, until she was here. Yeah. Right. Right. Exactly. All right. Well, right. Come here, sweetheart. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, 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 oh. It's okay. Come on, baby. Come on, honey. Come on. There, there you go. go. Good Rock girl. and roll, baby. Whoa. So we have Veronica on oh, her darling, freedom I'm going to get a picture. The girls are crying. Yeah. <laughs> And you know, and I'm, and I'm pretty sentimental too. I'll cry yeah. after. Well, I have to say goodbye to her because I get to take her up to date. So. <laughs> bye bye, fun. Veronica. Bye, baby. What a bye great, bye. what a great, actually fun, humorous, goofy rescue this was. <laughs> it was every extreme there was. Oh, bye. Me. And what I want to say is that this has been a great rescue. We we stayed with it. We, we had different opinions going on, but we stayed with it. 
and this is the result. So if anybody's watching this video and you guys have concerns that we're not getting along and doing with it, and save the dog. There you go. Rock and roll. Thank you, Cat. I got goosebumps, man. <laughs> it, it's a great okay. rescue. And, and the other thing that was totally crazy is I was so adamant that we could not trap this dog in here without it being so secure because she might just freak out. We trapped her in there and she just laid down. And who said you could pretty well go over there <laughs> and put a lead on her? I'll take that one, okay? Rock and roll. Let's save some more dogs. All right. Sit, possum. Sit. Good possum.